Welcome back, my friends, to Let's Play Artanella Kokoga. I'm your host, The Musical Gamer. We're here in the Mobius Factory. We've rescued Saki. We've downloaded a new hymn into her called the Exec EP Nova. What this hymn will do? Well, we're about to find out because we're going to go sing that up at the top here to stop the factory and activate the DFP. Is it deep, the DFP or DTF? I don't know. This game and its abbreviations and its innuendo really make me confused sometimes. Uh, what is this? That looks like nothing. Why did I come up here then? <laughs> these are the an these are the questions, viewers. The questions that I need you all to answer for me, because I sure as fuck don't know. All right, let's keep going up, 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 and up. I suppose we'll get to the top eventually. Ooh, hello. What do we got here? Industrial armor. Uh, question mark. Ooh, that actually reminds me. Hold the phone. Wait, let's go back down. There is something I want to do. We have super moves we can now make for a couple of people here. Uh, Auto and Tatsumi in particular, I believe. And I also believe we need only Finnel. We need Finnel to be able to do it. Yes, the Engineer Art and the uh, the V-Board Trick 2. So let's, uh, let's make these super moves. More super moves is never a bad thing. I think we'll invent a new super move. What kind of move do you think would be good? What kind of question is that? Whatever you think is the best bet, Auto. I don't know what is best. That's why I'm asking you guys. If you just give me a hint, it'll be a lot easier. The weapon you're holding now can be both a sword and a drill, right? It's kind of hard to name it if it's so versatile. It's not always a good thing to have multiple uses. For me, moves in which I roughly charge at an enemy are the easiest. I can tell you're good at that. <laughs> is that an insult? Charging in is every man's fantasy. Then what about a move where you pretend to charge with the drill, but cut them with the sword instead? I have a drill, but I'll end up using the sword? That doesn't sound very effective. Wait, pretending I'm using a drill wouldn't be a bad idea. I think he's coming up with an idea. Let's let him concentrate for now. Alright, what is this move? Cancel bites. What kind of skill is it? Show me. Hey, how can I show you all show it to all you here? Yeah, we need a target. You seem pretty confident. Can't you at least tell us what it's gonna look like? Well, it's a move in which I charge at an enemy as usual. So you're using the drill again. Well, this time, I'll use the scissors instead. When I switch my weapon to drill mode, the sword gets divided into two segments, right? So it's quite the opposite of that. I'll camouflage the scissors as a drill and then cut the enemy. So the inner edges are really sharp? I didn't even know your thing could be scissors. Holy shit. Yeah, I didn't know how to use the raw materials at first, but I came up with this idea. Please make sure to avoid the situation where your body gets separated into two. Keeping that in mind, we'll experiment with using this weapon in the next battle, hopefully on the enemy, not ourselves. We're gonna call it Cancel Bites. If you don't think that's the best name for this move, let me know. Alright, and V-Board trick number two. Go, go, gadget, go. Give me a new super move. Tots, I heard you're going to invent a new super move? So what's it going to be? Let me see. I'm thinking it would be nice if I could make something to attack distant enemies. Distant enemies? Are you going to throw something? I'm not good at throwing things. I wouldn't hit the target. Then do you want me to make a ranged weapon? That wouldn't be a bad idea, but I don't want to swap weapons during battle. Then why don't you conceal the secret weapon module inside your weapon? That sounds like a good idea, but... Uh, shooting something might be bad. Then let's think of what Tatsumi can shoot. Uh, bad? I, I think you mean good, right? Are they, did they do that stupid, like, bad means good thing? What? Or did I just totally read that wrong? I don't even know. Oh, this should work well. Really? Are you worried by any chance? Tatsumi, it's impossible to attack an enemy by shooting out a shockwave. I don't think so. Shockwaves aren't that hard to manipulate. I can generate them. I think you're wrong. I don't think anyone can easily generate them. It's easy once you get the hang of it. Anyways, I'm gonna call this one G-Break. But can you really generate shockwaves? Sure, I'll prove it in the next battle. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Let's, uh, let's, let's leave it to Tatsumi then. Good old Tots coming up with something new that should probably defy the laws of physics. Then again, my, my freaking drill scissors sword isn't much better. This is freaking kill the kill all over again at this point. All right. Forward and upward. Upward and forward. Let's get to the top of this place. We have two new super moves. Hopefully they will be very effective. God, this thing is huge. This disc. I, d I don't know why there's a, a, a ladder there, but okay. Okay, game. I, I, I thank you for the multiple routes, I guess. Even though they don't matter. Oh, this does, though. What's in here? Insane video. Joy! Another video for a goddamn auto super move. All right. Where did this take me? Is this where I need to be? Uh, excuse me. What's what's going on here, game? Game. What what am I doing? You're not helping me much here. Did I just go in the wrong goddamn thing? I think I did. Yep, I definitely did. What's this one? Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Hello there, loot. Fishy oil, question mark, has been discovered. Sweet. So we have another recipe we can use. So clearly this elevator is the way forward. Oh, another save point. Methinks I should save. V-style fall issue has been obtained. God damn it, we just freaking... <laughs> We just made these goddamn things. Can I make more? No, I probably don't have the weapon. Right? I need, yeah, I need, like, special weapons to actually make some of these things. Engineer Art 4, Pile Driver. Yeah, we don't have that. Uh, I'm thinking I should probably save, but, ah, nothing venture, nothing gained. I normally don't like saving in my Let's Plays in case something goes wrong with the recording. All right, looks like we made it. This is... The DFP. It looks terrifying somehow. It just looks like a big ball with wires to me. Now, Miss Saki, sing the song. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. All right, what's the worst that could happen? Not so fast. Oh shit, that's the worst that could happen. God damn it. Butch, not you again. <laughs> you little rats escaped from that many robot soldiers? You're no ordinary rodents. No, we're super rodents. Get it right. Well, the way you're still chasing us is pretty amazing too, zombie. Grr, you're dead, punk. <laughs> This time, I'm gonna pound you flat and roll you into cannolis! <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I fucking love cannolis! I want- I want an auto cannoli! Wait, no. No, I don't. Maybe Saki does, but no, not me. God damn it, no. I, I love the- the insulting relationship these two have. Sorry, ma'am, but I'm in no hurry to explore the afterlife. Besides, I promised Saki I'd take her home. Saki, go! Go, Saki, go! Right! Saki will do her best! You better. Alright, what kind of super serious battle song are we gonna hear now? What? The fuck? Huh? What's this? Come on, you gotta be joking! Saki, this song... Yes! DFB charge sequence initiated! We need time to generate enough symphonic energy. Auto, please guard Saki. What is going on? Her face! This song! They're singing about cats! What is this game? Oh my god. Here's a fun bit of fact, uh, or, or trivia though. 
I'm, I'm actually looking at this song because I, I, I knew this was going to happen. I'm actually looking at the, the song's page on the official Artanelico wiki. And yes, there, that is a thing. The Exapica wiki. A fun fact. The song itself would have been a battle song reminiscent of the Purgers or Replekia if it had been downloaded into Finnel or any of the heroines from the previous two games or any of Saki's alternate personae. But because of her personality, it was greatly altered and altered permanently. I think that's a fun little fact. The song is crazy. Yeah, sure. As the first actual hymn of the game, oh boy. D don't worry though, this does not. This is a complete outlier compared to the other hymns of the game. What the heck is with this cute. Ugh, I mean, frivolous song! <laughs> Are you trying to insult me here? Yes, though you apparently dig it. I'm gonna kill you, little punks, for this. You won't make a fool out of me. Oh, jeez. It's boss time! With goddamn cutesy, peppy cat music in the background. Oh, my God. I actually don't think you can use Saki for this fight. I, I don't know if you can or not. Is she singing the hymn? Uh, the only thing I do know is that Saki is currently level 9, as opposed to uh, our level 17 and 18. So, uh, Saki's a little underpowered right now. I'm gonna have to get her some levels. Nope, you're missing. What's the... Oh, -ho, there it is! Uh-oh. Oh, no, you don't. You are not coming after her. to this music. <laughs> You've been defeated in the most ungraceful, unsatisfying way. Uh, that don't sound good. Uh, I don't think you got a choice here, Mute. Oh, whoa, who? You? That's no way. DSP, we don't stand a chance. Mute, order the entire army to retreat immediately. <sighs> General Akane. Akane? Huh? Wait, what? I've activated DSP. Everybody, hold on to something. Hold the fucking phone. Fiddle, you know her? Well, you are from Clistania. Oh, shit. Oh no. That is actually essentially what the song translates to. By the way, just stop fighting. Oh god, they're falling from the skies. Oh shit. Well, I guess it worked. Whoa, what the hell? What are you? What is that monstrosity? What an ugly life form. Aki? That was! Kukuro, you protected me. Thank you. We are safe now. What the hell is that thing? It looks all slimy and plushy. What the? What was that? It's a fucking monkey? Aki! Finna, what are. Huh? Finna, do you know her? Oh shit. I am Akane, Supreme Commander of the Clustanian Army. I was dispatched to quell the rebellion in Great Fang. <laughs> Have fun with that. We're going to rebel so hard up your ass, you're not even going to know where to take a shit next time. A little girl is the Supreme Commander of the Clustanian Army? It has been quite some time, Finn. Uh, Akane, I... I have no intention of listening to your excuses. I have no right to infringe on your decisions. However... I must interpret your actions as a declaration of war. Whoa, wait, what? If you continue to aid these rebels, I must regard you as a foe. Please keep that in mind. Aki! Oh, geez, that's kind of cold. General Akane! Oh, no. I have a decree from her divinity. The damage has been too severe. 
Withdraw the entire army from Ciela Gate immediately. Very well, retreat. Call some units back to carry mute. Ten will probably be enough. <laughs> Ten. Ten people to carry the goddamn buff lady. Yes, General. Wait. Oh, it's the subtle jabs like that that make me like the writing in this game sometimes. Akia, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to be your enemy. That is how you and I differ. I live up to what is expected of me. Aki, you should consider reevaluating your life to make what limited time you have left more meaningful. Uh, uh, what do you mean by that? Tell me. God damn, you are one heartless shrew. I have no obligation to explain anything to you. In any event, I must report your actions to our master. But you won't be allowed to continue your present course of actions better for you in the long run. You must... <gasps> That's enough! Just stop right there. There's gonna be trouble if you keep scaring her. Ahoto! Tell your master, or whatever, that I won't let you mess with her! <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, you tell that asshole. God damn. Are you alright, Finnel? Hey, why are you crying? I stood up for you. That was one hell of a rebel yell, Aoto. Yeah, seriously, holy crap, that came from the goddamn soul. Yes, you were very chivalrous. You really think so? <sighs> All right, they've retreated, but we shouldn't stick around here. Let's go somewhere safe. All right, let's go. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. So this one device... Our actions here. Exit Epi Nova. That has driven the Clistanians out of Great Fang. Or we'll see Elegate at least. <sighs> My experiment went well, but I have to go cool it down now. Is she still unconscious? Theoretically, she should wake up right about now. Oh god, I guess those soldiers never came for her. But I guess there's still a lot to learn about its actual application. Let's go. Wait, what? What are you doing? What? What you doing? To, dude, this could be rape. Huh? She needs to be awake, goddammit. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> oh. She's, uh... She's awake. But she's sobbing. <laughs> Crap! Because of that little pipsqueak, my rep's completely ruined! <laughs> <laughs> this ain't over! I can't give up yet! Hang in there, mute! I'll get it done next time! You hear? Oh my god. Uh, are you okay? Wah! Who are you? Don't startle me! I, 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 I'm Katine! I'm a researcher! Uh, Katine? Katine? No way! You're that? Kate? <laughs> huh? Are you alright? You're blushing. If you're sick, I could give you some medicine. Oh no. Oh, this is so wrong on so many levels. Uh, no, no thanks. I'm fine. Whoa! What are you do- uh. Hello, ma'am! <laughs> Look at the way she runs! Okay. That was strange. Uh, oh shit, look, here comes Great Fang. Are they Clustanian guards? No, I think that's the Great Fang militia, isn't it? No, they're Archean soldiers. Never mind, they're a totally different group. What the fuck is Archea? Archea? Why are they here? They can sniff out rubble. So they come to scavenge for profit. At least that's what Master told me. Oh, hello. Speaking of which... Uh, Master! Oh, you guys are here too. What's the Great Fang Militia doing here? Oh, it is the Great Fang Militia. We were about to push through the gate, but with all the ruckus, I decided to see for myself what's going on. 
What is he talking about? That thing that we just caused? What did you say? You guys made that happen? Amazing! Great job, all of you! Well, it's mostly thanks to Katine. Uh, uh, he seems to have disappeared. <laughs> yeah, uh, we might not want to disturb him for the moment. Hey, have any of you seen a tall, largely built Clastanian Ravitail come through here? Or he could come to us! Huh? Are you talking about Butch? She didn't come here. What's this about? Oh, nothing. If you haven't seen her, uh, don't worry about it. So, uh, were you guys talking about me? Oh, so you're Katine, the big hero? Nice to meet you. But I'm just a researcher at this lab. Ah, so you're a scholar. Nice to meet you, Professor. Well, we can't stay here forever. Let's move before the Archeans start to suspect us. Yeah. All right, I guess we got to get out of here. Uh, whoa! Hello. Oh, is that you? Dr. Hikari Gojo? Oh, no. Oh, no, I can tell by that voice my ears are going to be bleeding in three, two, one. Uh, Rika. Uh-oh! Who are you? Oh, jeez. Are you... Okay? Note to, note to all you viewers, and note to self, never try to run with high heels on. Apparently this happens. <sighs> you haven't changed at all. Oh, Doctor! How have you been? You disappeared all of a sudden. I was so lonely. Doc... Is she your friend or something? Well, sort of. So, Rika, what are you doing here? What am I doing? Why, I'm here to save Great Fang. Arkia is going to save Great Fang? That's quite funny. I thought you Archeans were neutral. We're always on the underdog side. I was wondering what could have caused the entire Clastanian army to retreat. I had no idea an acquaintance's lab was in so much trouble. You should have told me about this earlier, Katine. What is going on here? What is with this discussion? Okay, so first of all, I guess there's a place called Archaea. Uh, as a third group. A third group. You got the Great Fang, you got the Clistanians, Clistania, and Archaea. So apparently there's another third neutral group out here. Hmm. Is that Rika person a friend of yours too? We just happen to know each other. But Rikariosh is pretty famous in academia circles as Archaea Think Tank's number two. Huh? That's quite a greeting after such a long time, sweetie. Now that everyone knows who I am, what's going on here? <laughs> the fight's over. It was a cinch, thanks to their help, and the cutting-edge DFP system that I invented. Oh, I see. You guys dealt with that big army yourself. It was easy, once we were able to charge it to maximum power. So, how much do you plan to charge us for your help? Well, those money maggots don't give a shit about anything unless there's money to be made. What's your angle? Please, don't get the wrong idea about us. Our purpose here isn't to make a profit this time. <laughs> this time. If it's not that, then what is it? This time, well, the Clastanians' activities seem a bit... I mean, very bothersome to us. Ciela Gate is our only access point to Great Fang, right? If they occupy this area, it won't make us happy. Oh, I see. So it's for your own sake. By the way, Doctor, really, what have you been up to? How mean. You left me all alone without even saying goodbye. Okay, Doc, Spill, how did you meet this pinkette? Hey now, Rika. Uh, don't get so close. <laughs> She's got the cooties, Doc. Stay away. My, my. I didn't know you were such a Don Juan, Doc. Ouch, oh. Oh, Gojo and Rika had such a close relationship? 
That's news to me. Wait, how how did the, how did these people over here have a concept of Don Juan? I just I never really actually thought about that line before. Now I just did. How do they have a concept of who Don Juan is? God damn it! If you had told me, I probably would have treated her a little better. No, it's not what you think. Oh boy, the doc getting jiggy with it. Oh, doctor, <laughs> you don't have to be so shy. <sighs> Doctor, why don't you take this great opportunity to come to Archaea? I couldn't stand parting with you again. Archaea? Isn't that the place where the children are? Where my hometown is? Wait, what? Is it? Uh, Saki. Uh, Rika? Yes, sweetie? Um, can you take us to a city called Ogai? I heard it's somewhere in Archaea. Uh, Alto. I want to take Saki there. To Archaea? Hmm. Well. I'm asking you too. Aoto came all the way here to take Saki back to her hometown. Doc. Uh, all right. I can't deny you, Doctor. Oh God! Why do you have to say it like that? It seems like you solved the problem with Clastania. As a token of my appreciation, I'll take you to Archaea. Really? Thank you. How sweet! That actually worked out really well for us. Doctor, you're coming with us, of course, right? Me? As soon as you're ready, please meet me at Morakaka Port. I'm looking forward to it, Doctor! M Morakaka? Oh, I never imagined to I'd be going to Archaea like this. We're, go we're going to Kaka Port. <sighs> Oh dear. Why are you so bummed? Did you have a traumatic experience in Archaea or something? <laughs> I think the traumatic experience just left the room. No. All right. This is no big deal. I'm a man. I've made up my mind. <sighs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's go, Fennel. This is our chance to get inside the tower. Oh shit, that's right. That's what these two were planning before Saki got uh, got kidnapped back in Blue Canyon Hamlet. Uh, uh, What's wrong? Nothing. Clearly there's something wrong. So, what are you going to do, Gengai? Want to go to the tower with us? Hmm. No thanks. I don't need those Archean misers to lead me by the hand. You sound like a defiant child, Master. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, Lufon sent me a Telemo message. We're sneaking into the tower on our own. Uh, really? Oh shit, Great Fang is gonna storm the tower? Yep. He told me that all the Fangers that managed to escape are gathering together at Ciela Gate. I'll take these bastards with me, as we all charge into Clastania together. Sorry, Gengai. I know I told you we'd always be fighting by your side, but we have to split again. It's all good, kid. Your duty is to protect Saki. Master, please be careful. Uh-huh. Same to you, Tatsumi. If something happens, contact me. Yes, sir. All right, well, I guess Gengai's going to split with us for now. All right, well, I'm sure we'll see him again if they're going to storm, you, the, uh, storm the tower. Well, I don't think now is the best time to continue my research. Why don't you come with us to Archaea? <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're about, to, we're about to switch out the big, burly, muscly dude for the little, tiny kid. You're joking, right? Why would I want to go there? I love it, though. In the character art, he is clearly so tiny, but in actual, like... His, his character model in the actual field is like the same height as everybody else. It makes no sense whatsoever. How is your research going? Have you made any advancements? <laughs> Touche. I surrender. And now I beg you to show mercy. I don't know if it'll prove useful, but there is one bit of information that has attracted my curiosity. What is it? That Ravitail girl, Saki, she has multiple personalities. What? Take a look at her soul space map. 
Its resemblance to that Rave tale you told me about the other day is remarkable. Ooh, hold on. I'm in I'm interested in this information. You mean that ancient? Ancient? Wait, what? Ancient? Take the map. So, what do you say? Do you still want to stay here? No. I'll tag along with you to Archaea. This girl seems to warrant further study. Huh. Alright, I guess we're all going on a field trip to Archaea then. We're finally going to enter the tower. I'll admit I'm a little nervous. Saki's hometown. I wonder what it's like. We better get everything ready before we head over to Morokaka Port. That we shall. Morokaka Port has been added to the town map. As well as a talk topic over here. I didn't know. Apparently I didn't know something. Uh, we can talk to both of the Raven Tales, which I suppose we might do. I'm um, investigating whether or not there are any weird traps at the inn. Ah, th that's a Great Fang soldier. Okay. I gotta remember, they have like the weird beanies. So Great Fang has now moved in and taken control of the region. The Look at me! I'm, I'm walking into the dude! Can't afford to go to Arkia. Alright, what's this? Auto's hometown. Wait, what? I thought... Huh? Hold the phone. Didn't we already get that one? For something else? I'm confused. None of those Glastanian wenches could appreciate the quality of this gear. <laughs> oh, those Glastanian wenches. I love it. Alright, well, next time on Let's Play AT Koga, we're going to go to Morikaka Port. We're going to go to Arkia. And we are going to finally get Saki back to her hometown. But before we do that, we might pay a visit to the dive shop. And go take a look at Saki's next level of her Cosmosphere. Because I believe we can indeed do that. So, and I want to do, I want to definitely get her level 2 Cosmosphere done before we go to Arkia. So, this is the Musical Gamer. Thanks all for watching. I will see you guys, you lovely, lovely people, in the next video. Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.